said all along that the economic toll is going to be worse than the health toll. That's playing out now. 275,000 Texans filed for unemployment last week. That's up from 155,000 the week before. So what does this do to the Texas economy, the state budget? This is something the state officials and lawmakers are looking at right now, along with Ross Ramsey as well. He's the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune in Austin Forest on Skype at his home. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning, Jason. How are you? Doing well. You know, even if this only lasts for a couple of months, this is not going to be easy to unwind, economically speaking, and it's no, no doubt going to affect the state budget when the legislature returns in January, right? Yeah, it stops the economy cold, and really the question is how long does it stop the economy cold and how fast when we get out of this is the recovery from it. The worst numbers are starting to come in, or the bad numbers are starting to come in. Unemployment up 1,600%. Uh, which is kind of what everybody said it would be, but it's really shocking to see it uh, actually occur. And it's particularly shocking to the people who are now unemployed and seeking benefits. And Ross, you bring up a good point for folks who are working at home or have kids at home too. It's pretty darn difficult in at least a third of the state because there's no broadband in a lot of Texas that many people probably don't realize. Yeah, you can go virtual, but only if you have either access to broadband, which you know 94% of Texans do, or you have uh, broadband in your home, which only about 66% of Texans do. So a third of Texas doesn't have the means to do school, do work, do church, do all of the things virtually that, that some of us are able to do. Wow. All right, Ross, back to you in a moment. Thank you.